don't tell uncle jokes. Really? How do you want your steak cooked? On a stove. Ooh! And I'm hungry. Oh, nice to meet you, Hungry. I'm Robin. Boom! Hey, Beast Boy, why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Because the pee is silent! Boom! 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 Please stop. I assure you, I understand the concept now. <laughs> the pee is silent. I just got it. Raven likes my jokes. Dude, your jokes are so uncle -y. We ought to call you uncle. Yeah, that's right. Uncle, 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 uncle. uncle. <laughs> your humor is quite masterful. Perhaps if I joined your company, I could learn from you. No way. This year, this is a twosome. Not one, not three, dose. Two, got it? Our broship is like a horse and grabbing structure, or a noble gas, whose outer atomic shell can neither take in or release any more electrons. So it is final? I cannot learn the jokes from you? Under no circumstances, lady. Never, ever. You have made yourselves clear. I will remain unfunny. Whoa, 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 wait. This is where you're supposed to say something like, you'll make cookies, and then we say, okay. It's called a comedy turn. Now let's try it again. <laughs> you never gonna be part of our group, Starfire. Never, ever. But what if I could make of the cookies? <gasps> you're in! <laughs> possibilities for my comedic catchphrase. I was thinking something like, boo-ha-ha. -ha. Uh, we're digging the transformation star, but you really shouldn't try to talk like us. Yeah, booyah is my thing. You gotta find your own catchphrase. Well, how about this? I am the cool Jamalama Moo Moo. Needs work. You are an exact replica of Cyborg, huh? Do you like dinosaurs? Uh, yeah. Awesome! Ha! It worked! Why? Cause I'm a genius. Yes, I'm a genius. I am a genie in a bottle. I'm a genius. Ah, <sighs> finally. I can relax. Ah. <sighs> okay, I'm bored. <laughs> oh man, you stink. I thought you were good at this game, dude. <laughs> So did I. I thought I was, I thought I was just awful. I thought you guys were playing cavemen and dinosaurs. We got sick of it. So now we're playing Invasion of the Bubble Bots, too. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Can I play? Sorry, bro. No. We only have two controllers. Yeah, sorry, bro. That's okay. I didn't feel like playing my favorite video game in the whole wide world anyway. Is it? Oh, it's just Beast Boy and my double are like best friends now. And you want sympathy from me? You are the one who cast the spell. You tricked me into casting it. It's your fault you lost your best friend. <sighs> what? Well, since I need a new best friend, I thought maybe you could make a magical double of Beast Boy. You're unbelievable. Okay, then could you at least duplicate this controller so I can play video games with them? Fine. Zintos. Psych! Hey, 
What's up? <laughs> You're me! Correction, I'm you. You've got to be kidding me. This is great! Now I have a new best friend. Right, Beast Boy? Whoa! You're a magical double? Just like me? Want to be best friends? Okay. No, wait! We're supposed to be best friends! Sorry, Cyborg. I just have more in common with Cyborg. Later. But... oh. Good going, Cy. Now neither one of us has a best friend. Perhaps the two of you could just be best friends again. <laughs> like... What are you talking about, Raven? As superheroes, fans give us our strength. Their admiration and support actually creates an energy wave that fuels us. Without fans, and in our case, one fan, we're nothing. Don't you feel stronger just being in the same room as Walter? I won't lie. He does make me feel better about myself, but a fan can't make you stronger. Catch! <laughs> ah! Whoa! This is amazing! This is all because of the T. Walter Thompson, Willy Wally, Shamalama Mumu? Oh, yes. And being this close to him is making us even stronger. Look how strong he's making me now! Arm's length, Raven. Sorry. If he gives us our strength, then we got to treat him like the king, yo! Agreed. Now, Wally T. Wally T! I want to make your wildest fan dreams come true. How does a Titan's Tower tour sound? <laughs> then prepare for an all-access pass that takes you behind the scenes. And nothing is more behind the scenes than the bathroom. That's the sink. And over there is the toilet. <laughs> I pee-pee in there. We all do, man! But not at the same time, Walter. You must understand that. It's a really great bathroom. The only problem is that we're always running out of toilet paper. That's because you all make toilet paper mitts, AKA the mummy wrap, so much waste. You gots to, bro? Check it, Walter, my man. You wrap your hand in teepee till it's nice and sealed. That way you stay clean whilst you get clean, got it? You should only be using two squares max! Two squares max! Fold it over! That is all the teepee you need! Hmm, does Walter really want to know all this? He wanted all access! He's getting all access! Now where to next on the all access tour? The crime alert! Gizmo is attacking the city with his robot army. Looks like the next stop on this tour is the battlefield. Titans and Wally T! Wally T! Go! <laughs> Give it up, Gizmo. Your robot rampage is over because we've got Wally T! Wally T! That's fan strength coursing through your veins. Titans, go! Everything. Ooh, look! There appears to be a secret passage from where the rats came! Exciting! You guys feeling it? The adventure! us beyond this door. <gasps> Perhaps it is the fairy party. Oh, sick. Up dancing with mermaids and jellyfish massages. And... Stop imagining things. Mermaids and fairies are not going to help us find the key. Now, stand ready. A dragon! Shh, shh, shh. This 
dragon wakes up, it will eat our heads. Now follow me. The key to getting us out of here is within our sight. We're almost clear. What are you doing? We want to ride the dragon! Just for one tiny minute. Absolutely not. Bro, that is a straight-up dragon that we could be riding right now. Yeah, you said this world was full of magic, but we ain't done nothing but roll dices and fight rats. That's the game! And we could be doing that from the comfort of our couch. But no, you had to use your dumb imaginations and look where that got us. Oh. You blame them for being trapped here? Um, yes, they broke the rules. Ha <laughs> ha! Young elf, it was you who caused this. What? You were brought here for ruining this magical game. <laughs> Imagination is true magic. It has no rules. It's so simple. I can't believe you didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> man. I want to ride that dragon. Come ride the dragon with us, bro. Yes, young elf. Come and ride me. Well, I guess I could give it a try. I'm riding the dragon, and it's fun. We're gonna ride the dragon. The dragon. We're gonna ride the Delightful, delightful! This is true magic and fantasy. Congratulations. <laughs> and now you fry. What? Yeah, this is so gross. Well, this is where the cool pizza-eating mutants live. How can you eat pizza when you're surrounded by all of this filth? <laughs> the filth. Let's get this over with. What's the password, dude? Just let us in. Password! Totally tubular. Come on in! What up, Titan Bro? what happened to the world's pizza supply. But why? When we told Robin about the power of pizza, we were just trying to be cool, youngish, mutated karate turtle dudes. But then you guys blew up. You wouldn't stop ordering pizza and there wasn't any left for us. You know what we had to eat instead? Bill? No, gross. We had to eat sandwiches and sandwiches are not cool. Hey, whoa, sandwiches are super cool. Bottom line, Brosif, you took pizza from us and now we're taking it back. Sorry. Then that leaves us one option. Titans, go! Guess there's only room for one goofy pizza-eating random humor superhero team, huh? We may be goofy with goofy random humor, but you're forgetting one thing. We run around silly and everything! I was wrong, guys. I now know truth and justice mean nothing without pizza. What shall we do with the cool turtle dudes? I've got a radical idea. Cowabunga! This is so scary. So gravelly, yo. For your incidents, you will be cast into the fires of... Excuse me, Mr. Side. Would you care for a lozenge? Uh. Yes, actually. You appear to have the scratchies of the throat. <sighs> I have been fighting this cold for the longest time. Mm. 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 
Mm, oh. oh, wow, thank you. Oh, my throat feels so much better. My pleasure. Uh, yeah, now where was I? Oh, yeah. You will be cast into the fires of Apocalypse, where you will burn for eternity. Um, you're not, you're not cowering in fear. Your voice isn't threatening anymore. Oh, come on! I'm still terrifying. You should be all, all trembling and stuff. Maybe it'll help if you tell us your evil plans. Can't you see I have the lives of the Justice League literally hanging in the balance? I press a button and boom, they're gone! You do not sound like the kind of person who would do such a thing. Well, I'm also going to use the anti-life equation to destroy Earth. Equations? <laughs> uh, are you a bad guy or are you a math nerd, bro? You know, this dude totally sounds like someone. I know! Weird Al Yankovic! He's oh, so nice. Ah, uh, yes. The great singer of song parodies. <laughs> if only I was half as evil to earn a living by making songwriters look like fools! <laughs> Diabolical! I don't know. I think it's all in good fun. What's fun about undercutting musicians by subverting their words and compromising their artistic integrity? Weird Al is a true monster! You take that back! He is a national treasure! A monster, I say! That tells it! You're going down, Dark Side! Justice League, go! That's you guys. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got my lasso. Cutting humor and loving friendship without you. You failed. The Justice League will soon be no more, and Earth will be destroyed, along with your precious Weird Al. I may have failed as Green Lantern, but I won't as Cyborg. <laughs> 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 to be home. Oh, I missed the crispness of Tamaranian air. <laughs> My lungs are crying. What? Oh, we're breathing, Star! That is the Tamaranian fire air. What? Uh, your planet's air is made out of hot sauce! It ensures the weak do not survive. You will grow accustomed to the burning. The pain! Oh, <laughs> oh, do not die so quickly, friends. We have just arrived. There are so many more wonderful things to see. <laughs> wow, this place is amazing. Give us the tour, Star. We want to see all the things that made you such a sweet little cuddle bug. As a Tamaranian princess, this palace was my home. We often entertained kings, queens, and warlords in an effort to keep the peace of the galaxy. This is General Thraxis of the Blood Dominion. We are working on a very important treaty with him now. What up, General? <laughs> A handshake is the most violent declaration of war. He has vowed to wipe out my people and turn Tamaran into intergalactic gravel. My bad! That is the all right. But you must excuse me. I need to rally a planetary defense. <laughs> Charge! You have to shake everyone's hand? I'm a friendly guy. What do you want me to do? This is not what I was expecting. I'm not sure I like Starfire's planet. It's definitely not as sweet as she is. True, but it's pretty cool watching those blob guys explode. Ah! There goes one! Why does everything burn on 
this planet! Let's be! This is terrible. Let's go before things get worse. No, Raven. It means so much to Starfire that we're here. <gasps> you! The cries of terror have stopped. And maybe Cyborg's handshake war is over. Handshakes are friendly. I don't care who you are. They are friendly. Good news. The war has concluded, and only three quarters of the planet were destroyed. That's great. I'm so happy for you, Starfire. As is the custom on Tamaran, I brokered a truce by offering my hand in marriage to the general. <laughs> 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 you can try and stop the show, but they won't let you! <laughs> Not without a fight! Man, look at all of them! Ooh, this is gonna be good! Way better than another island adventure. Fine. Then let's give everybody what they really want to see. Titans, go! What are we gonna do? There's only one thing we can do. See? Those island adventures ended up paying off after all! Titans and island extras, go! has to be a way to make him realize what he's done to his body is terrible! <laughs> hey, Beast Boy! Look at me! Look at how tough I've made myself! 
Ooh, crab claws. Clickety, clickety, click. So tough. And check out these horse haunches. <laughs> Manly enough for you. <gasps> what did you do to yourself, cyborg? I'm teaching you a lesson that cutting off body parts and replacing them with other parts just ain't cool. Psh, whatevs. Taking care of yourself is more important than looking tough, man. Uh-huh, sure. You done yet? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you're right, bro. I guess I got kind of carried away in my pursuit of toughness. I think we both got a little carried away. <laughs> you do look pretty tough, though, dude. This looks tough. You just upped your man factor five times. <laughs> hey, what else can we do to up our man factors? Only one way to find out. Man Taj. Heavy lifting. Yeah. Fishing. <laughs> Grilling. Grilling. Yard work. Body hair. That was so manly, yo. So manly. Yo, out of one tough sunset. Just like us, bro. Just like us. Tough. When I pick their biggest and baddest member and make a point, they'll beg. This mission will be fast. In and out. This space battle station is going to be the perfect combination of comfort and deadliness. Come in! Name's Red X. I want in with the hive. You know, we don't usually bring in new recruits this way. What? Don't think I have what it takes? You're in. You think you're a tough guy? Someone stop him! He's gonna hurt Mammoth! What's wrong, tough guy? Not so big and bad after all, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I said you were in. Oh, sorry. Well, we've got a little home improvement project we're working on. Make yourself comfortable. He's mean. Said I was sorry. Just like I said, in and out. <laughs> Red X! Want some pizza? As long as it's not delivery. Because in two minutes, there won't be a tower to deliver it to. <laughs> We've got our own wood-burning oven. Wood-burning pizza oven? Excuse me. Let's eat. Mmm! Excellent pizza. Crispy crust. Such a shame this evil wood-burning pizza oven must be destroyed. So tomorrow, I was thinking we'd make Hawaiian. <gasps> Hawaiian? Excuse me. The dinner is served. Frozen fish and peas? I don't want to see that. I'm hungry. But you have not fixed the microwave oven machine like you promised. <laughs> Oh, so just because I said I would fix it, I'm the one who has to fix it? You all are living in a fantasy land. So, you destroyed the Hive Tower? Uh, not yet. Things have gotten complicated. We can discuss over the dinner. Oh, not for me. I'm stuffed. The Hive has a wood-burning pizza oven. You had pizza? Yeah, from a wood-burning pizza oven. <laughs> it was super evil. I'll destroy their tower tomorrow. It'll be fast. Ah! Fueled by your superpowers, behold Project Brain. Brain's robotic indestructible armor nexus. 
That's Project Brian, dude. No, Brain. B R I. Hello, Watts. How could I make that mistake? Ah! Fellas, what's the move? Ah! <laughs> Brian.
Starfire does make you act a little nuts, doesn't she? There was something about Starfire that made him nuts. Not the kind of nuts that put a knot in your stomach or made you want to climb a mountaintop to shout out your feelings. No, the nuts that made you hear voices in your head. Voices like mine. There's this new restaurant opening tonight that she wants to try, but I don't know how to ask. We can help you. Really? Me and Cyborg have asked out tons of girls. And they went out with you? No. Of course not. But we asked. So sit right there and learn from the masters. Please! <laughs> just go out with me! You say no! I don't know please. if I could take you anymore. Please, please. Think this is the wrong approach? <laughs> oh, oh, please don't say no! I'm already I so already bad. Know you know. Just be yourself. Just go out with me! <laughs> Hi, Starfire. Hey, Starfire. <laughs> hey, Starfire. Hola, Starfire. No. Oh. Enter. <sighs> yes, Robin? What? Is this a game? Duh! Why, ti... Lu... Duh! Why, ti... Who? To a... Uh, shabba dabba ding, ding bam. bam Boom, boom! boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Your game was most enjoyable. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Good times, huh? Wait, Star, uh, there <clears throat> there was something else. You know that new restaurant is opening tonight. Uh, I thought maybe you'd like to go. <gasps> I would love to! You would? Indeed, but I cannot. Speedy has already asked me to go with him. Speedy? How's it going, Robin? Speedy. Speedy had always been the chief rival of Robin. First as a sidekick, then a hero, and now for the affections of a strange but endearing alien princess. At that moment, Robin knew he would do anything in his power to stop Speedy from winning over Starfire. Even though Reason said he should be more concerned with the voice he kept hearing in his head. This guy? Are you kidding? How can you stand to look at that face? I'm standing right here. Ugh, not to mention that voice. I have always felt you two share many visual and auditory similarities. Don't you get it, Star? He's all wrong for you. Is that not the purpose of the date? To find out if one is compatible? Ah! Look, four sides like a square, but pointy on top. I'm telling you, Pharaoh Mama, we can't build these. But they're so cool. Look, a pointy top. I know. I love those pointy tops. But this is ancient times. We don't have trucks or cranes, just those guys. There has to be a way. What is that? Hello, wonderful friends! I am the alien! Your flying thingy is super neat. Ooh, thank you. Your hat is also the neat. I'll let you wear it if you can help us build this pyramid. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, aliens did not build the pyramids. Not by themselves. <laughs> Thank you, alien lady Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster. This is a dream come true. Mm. Oh. <laughs> and that's pretty much everything you need to know about the pyramids. Bigfoot is the man! Wow, 
That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. The history is often ridiculous. History is the rudder that steers mankind to a better future! <sighs> Forget Egypt. Let's move on to American history and its 16th president. Ooh, 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 ooh! The Abraham and Turkey Sandwich Lincoln! Ah! He was tall and with a beard and very much enjoyed the theater. Oh, I have the happiness inside. I love being the President Abraham and Turkey Sandwich Lincoln. And my beard is so fluffy, like the kitten on my face. Pet, 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 pet. Meow, 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 meow. I have the stovepipe hat for cooking the dinners. And my face is on the penny. Now I will eat of the popped corn whilst I enjoy this theater play. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs>